Right guys, hello another day for you all, DCS World in VR with the Apache gunship overcoming the troubles with trim with a flight stick that has a dry clutch. So if you don't know what trim is, you can watch Red Kite's video I did a few weeks ago, it explains what trim is, all the different trim modes in DCS World and why so many people were crashing and burning the Apache. We then had Casmo who uh, chipped in, he used to be an Apache pilot in real life and he just wanted to show how he uses the trim functions when he flies in DCS with the Apache. Uh, so we'll link their videos in the description of mine because their content is always worth a watch. The reason I'm a little bit late to the party is that I spent just over 200 great British pounds to get VKB's new Gladiator NXT Evo stick imported. So they say it's got some game changing upgrades over the NXT which is now discontinued. Uh, the, the gimbal now has ball bearings but the main feature is the dry clutch. So what's a dry clutch? We think of it as a mechanism that will grip onto the stick. So there's really a couple of reasons we'd want to use this. You might want to use the stick as a throttle. They sell something that's called the Omni Throttle. Uh, so if you're left-handed especially it's very difficult to find a throttle to go in your right hand. So this is now a godsend to left-handed people. You can have an Evo NXT for your right hand as a throttle and another one for your left hand as the flight grip. You can tighten down the dry clutch to hold the stick in position. It's working as a throttle. Uh, we can also remove the springs and tighten down the dry clutch to have the stick behave like a cyclic, which is exactly what we want in a helicopter. So we'll put the active pause on just to show what I mean. There's a cyclic stick. I can move it forward, let go, and it stays where it is. Pull it back, stays where it is. Anywhere it goes, I'm not using a button to trim. My Evo stick is staying in that position that you're seeing on the screen. So yeah, it helps with immersion. It's a good quality of life feature to have. So I've taken the springs out. Some of you be wondering, uh, how do you find center position then if you've got no springs to do it for you? That's a good question. I did a video the other day to show that you can program the RGB LEDs on the face of the stick to show when you are at center position. So I have it red when it's centered. Uh, if I'm pitching or rolling it goes green or, or twist in the stick but you could change the color to whatever you wanted. You could have yellow if you're rolling, green, pitching, orange for twist, whatever you want to do. Uh, so yeah, that's really helpful. But some of you be thinking you're in VR, how the hell do you see an LED? Well, there's a nose gap under the headset. I can peek below uh, and see that LED. I can see my keyboard if I do need to push buttons. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's possible. So some of you be wondering, can you still use the stick with the springs in and use the dry clutch? Well, yes and no, it really depends exactly what you're trying to do. You could use the dry clutch with the springs just to give a bit more resistance to the stick and to help dampen against the springs when it returns it to center. So it just returns to center a little bit more slowly and smoothly if you want to do that. Uh, I did put in the lightest springs they give you. They give us light, medium and heavy springs. So on the Y axis, which is forwards and backwards, there's two adjustments for the uh, dry clutch and tighten it down enough, it would hold against those light springs. But for the X axis, rolling left and right, there's only one adjustment and no matter how tightly you do that up, it's just not enough. Uh, the springs will overcome the dry clutch and return the stick to center. So now you know. I leave them out. I fly jets like the Tomcat. It took me a little while to get used to it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy leaving the springs out. So some of you might be wondering you know, what's it like to fly with a stick? Is, you know, is there a lot of tension? Well, it depends how, how much you tighten down that adjustment. Uh, you can actually have it gripping too tightly that it's very difficult to make slight adjustments. Uh, I actually found that I didn't do it enough. Uh, it would hold the stick in position, but it was far too easy for me to move it around. So off came the base plate and I tightened down the dry clutch a little bit more. So yeah, it's okay, you're going to kill some time, burn some time getting the adjustment right how you want it. But yeah, I'm at a position I'm pretty happy. So now I don't really need to mess around with trim because of the cyclic stick. Some of you are wondering whether you need to bind those commands to the NXT Evo at all. Well, I still have because we have altitude and attitude hold. I don't think it's implemented yet in early access, but it will be coming. Uh, and although I don't really need to trim the cyclic stick, my rudder pedals do have a spring in them. 
So what I can do is go into DCS settings, tell it for the Apache, my stick has no springs, so it basically ignores trim for the stick, but my pedals do, and then I can use the trim for the rudder pedal. So I've got to give it some left boot to center the helicopter, and then I can push the trim button, take my feet off the pedals, and we're basically centered, and I can make any adjustments I want after that. So yeah, if you don't like having your foot constantly kicking over, um, you can use the trim for that. And we've also got the reset commands that they've added in with the latest patch as well. So I can push on my hat switch to do that, to uh, reset the trim. So I'm sure you guys will have other questions I haven't thought of. You can put those in the comments or try and answer them best I can. Uh, it's not a cheap stick. It's certainly not for casuals. I can tell you what I started with, which was Thrustmaster's T16000 flight pack, which I still maintain is really the best way to go if you're just starting out. That gave me the pedals, it gave me the TWCS throttle, and it gave me a flight stick as well. And that's lasted me a good two years and they all still work. Uh, some people will say you should get an NXT and then buy a TWCS throttle separately. Uh, the way I look at it, especially if you can do helicopters, you really, really want rudder pedals. Although the, the rudder pedals that I got in the pack, they're not the greatest. They do have toe brakes. If you tweak around with the dead zones and the curves, they are perfectly functional. I haven't crashed yet, as you've seen. So if you actually price it out, the cost of the pedals plus a TWCS for the sake of another 20 pounds, you can get the full pack with the flight stick. So people can slag off the flight stick all they want, the T16K, but for 20 quid, it's not too bad. Once you've bought a better stick, you can convert it to left-hand use and have HOSAS if you do space sims or, or stuff like that. Uh, so that's the way I went, and I'm now upgraded to the NXT EVO. I've got plenty more buttons and hat switches uh, to get more commands done. Certainly, certainly much, much better than the T16K uh, stick, but to be fair, this Evo has cost me more than that entire flight pack uh, put together. So, okay, we've got a twist grip on the Evo, uh, which we could buy in for rudder and uh, the torque pedals in the helicopter, but I can't see me flying a helicopter twisting the stick all the time. Uh, I just don't see that feasible. So I've opted to change the stick. I have put in a pre-order for Windwing's new Orion 2 throttle. I find that quite interesting. They've, they've made some changes over the original Orion. Uh, some people had some concerns about the cables, the wires uh, bending and yeah, moving around. So yeah, they've made some changes to that. We can change the grips. So we can use it for jets and then take those grips off. You can buy a collective uh, to go on there. Uh, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. I might might just end up buying the Gemini base and the collective separately. I don't know how much I do need the collective. Um, I'm reasonably okay using the throttle for that, to be perfectly honest. It's just another immersion factor, moving your hand up and down for the collective. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, the, the pedals, I think, are good enough, so I don't really need to, to change those. There are certainly better pedals. They don't have springs. They can be you know, just sort of set and forgotten about. Uh, and make your adjustments as needed but you know, each to their own I'm just, I don't really want to go bankrupt for my uh, flight sim hobby I know lots of people are really really into it but uh, yeah with this Evo stick I've I've certainly got enough commands uh, under my fingertips having that Orion is going to give me some more buttons and switches you know for the flaps and landing gear and and stuff like that just to make things uh, a little bit more interesting so once I get hold of that we can do another video for that have the entire setup in action. The next video I'll do will uh, launch off some Hellfire missiles from the co-pilot gunner seat. We'll do some strafing runs with a 30 Mike Mike cannon. Uh, yeah, just for a little bit of fun. So we'll leave it there, guys. Hopefully the video's helped you out. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever it is you choose to do. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. 10 Ciao for now.